Welcome back. In more news, the Committee on Commission, Statutory Authority and State Enterprises has tasked officials from Uganda Electricity Distribution Company to investigate its staff members participating in vandalization of power lines threatening to suspend commercialization of scrap in the country. The officials from Uganda Electricity Distribution Company, UEDC, led by their managing director, Mwesko Paul, appeared before the Medad Lubega Segona led Committee of Commissions, Statutory Authority, and State Enterprises to answer queries of the 2023 2024 Auditor General's report. This is the budgetary implication. During the interactions, committee members noted with concern the increasing theft of power lines countrywide, which paralyzes production of goods and services. Evidence between the, electric, the, the Umeme and the team and then the so-called Kamif who come at night and the disconnect and then vandalize the whole village. The has taken place, theft has taken place, and we are now back on, on, on scratch. That must change. All the factories dealing in copper, scrap of copper, should stop until government institutes mechanisms that will mitigate the theft of electric wires. The committee members also put officials from UEDCL in spotlight to explain the selective connection of free power connection after the report put the beneficiaries of the project at only 12,000 countrywide. Not opposed to free connection, but it has got to be guided and it must also be placed in its place within the priority uh, list. What should we do? Where I come from to get electricity, it is never even a poll to pass there. Actually, in my, oh, the, oh, the whole parish also have an implication on the sale of poles. Because if you are supposed to connect a certain number of customers, some of the customers need a poll for a connection. Other concerns in the proceedings included abandoned contracts of power connections after people had surrendered part of their land. The poles are there, the lines are there, part of the line was vandalized. And when you tell me that's all, it's not our line, the lawyer says we don't know where the contractor is, I don't know what happened.